Danielle Stevenson is sharing a very creative way she's making extra money in this week's Eco Savings Race update. Danielle has a degree in art and she used to use painting as her creative outlet, but now her love is jewelry making. I have a studio that I work on some jewelry and I sell it in art shows and I sell it on Etsy and I also have it in a salon. And I've designed everything just basically based on what I would wear or what I like to make. Danielle is a stay at home mom, but she loves that she's able to contribute to the household income by using her passion for jewelry making in her spare time. It's helped a lot actually. Uh, I've saved, I've made several thousand dollars just during the savings race to put towards our debt. Fall is a really good time for art shows, so I had several of them lined up. And I've got a few more coming up this spring, so I'm hoping to add some more money to the debt. Jeremy says he enjoys seeing his wife so fulfilled and following her passion. Just love that she can stay home with the kids. For others, thinking about starting a small side business to help bring in extra income, Danielle offers this advice. Start small, do what you love. Don't try to make things that you think someone's going to buy. Just make something that you really love and then people will feel that love in the piece and they will have an emotional connection to it and that's when they buy it. When there's an art show local in the Birmingham area, um, there's a good chance you'll see her there, so go find her. This week's Eco Takeaway Tip could help you add a little extra income to your monthly budget. If you need a little extra money to reach your financial goals, consider all of your talents and passions and research how you can use them to earn extra income. From tutoring to making jewelry or even walking dogs, you can often use what you enjoy to earn extra funds. Follow along with all the teams at ecosavingsrace.org. I'm Lillian Lalo with CBS 42 Community.